everyone, it's Ross, and today we're gonna make a salad. And uh, bear with me here, I don't normally do cooking videos, but I promise you this recipe is really, really good. Um, this is a salad I've just been making a lot recently, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So we've got ourselves some nice little lettuce here. You know, this really, this lettuce is not really that great, actually. This is just your standard romaine chopped up with some some red stuff for added color. You know, this stuff's pretty bland. You know, it's got some crunch, but it's really not the best quality lettuce. You can certainly grow lettuce at home, guys. That's gonna beat this by far. Um, and I really suggest you do. But that's our base. And then what we've got here on this plate, we're gonna add this into the salad. This is blueberries, we have some uh, um, we have some avocado here. We also have, what is this, butternut squash. <laughs> Excuse me guys, this is a butternut squash that we baked in the oven with some olive oil. Um, so this stuff is leftovers, we're reusing it. And we're gonna add some, actually some other things to it. Let's add some extra uh, virgin olive oil. Just a, just a little bit. Give it a little bit of a, of a base for the dressing there. We're gonna salt this sea salt. We're also going to add some pepper. And then we're going to, um, I forgot the pumpkin seeds. We're going to add some pumpkin seeds in here for a little bit of crunch. I find that the uh, that a good salad has a nice little balance between acidity and crunch. So I think adding some extra crunch, you can do sesame seeds, you can do other types of nuts or seeds, you know, it doesn't necessarily really matter. As long as I think you've got some fruit in here, you know, I've seen large green grapes in a salad like this, it works really well. Um, we're also gonna squirt on some lime, just for some extra acidity here, if there's any juice left in here. Yep, all right. And last but not least, we're gonna add in our dressing, and you guys can go nuts with the dressing, right? You got millions of choices in fact you can even make your own dressing which comes out real good but I'm going to use this stuff here what is this this is called tzatziki I don't know how to pronounce this guys I'm sorry this is a Greek I guess a Greek thing or a Middle Eastern type thing um, I see it quite often it's like Greek yogurt with cucumber and dill pretty simple this is just giving us more acidity a nice dressing here and that will cover our bases all right so that's that and then we're just going to take this and mix it all up in here and that's it could have done that a little better <laughs> you guys you know I'm not a cook so but I love to eat healthy food, and I love to eat good food, and this is certainly going to be good. Let me get a fork. Fork break, but uh, here we go. This is what we've got. This is what we're working with. And I promise you, this is incredible. So let's take a nice little taste here. A little taste test. Mmm. Man, oh man, is that good. Oh. So, I'm getting a nice little blend of texture there. The soft avocado, the soft butternut squash combined with the lettuce. You know, the crisp and refreshing blueberry more texture from the pumpkin seeds and you just got so much acidity coming in here from all these different things come together and make a really nice blend i don't know i don't really normally eat salad but uh that's incredible all right guys hope you enjoyed this one i'll see you tomorrow for uh, tomorrow's video all right take care